the relations between uh, Zimbabwe and uh, UAE is growing very fast. Um, three years ago, our trade between Zimbabwe and the uh, UAE was around 400 million US dollars. But it has jumped to 1.6 billion in two years from that figure. So you can see how uh, the, the trade and the, uh, trade cooperation, trade between the two countries is growing very, very, very fast. I remember when I made my state visit to the UAE in 2019, in March 2019, I had a three state visit, three day state visit here. But on my second day, there was the um, cyclone you know, die. Uh, attack back home so I cut short my visit to the UAE to rush back uh, because the circle die had caused a lot of destruction of property and lives we lost over 600 people died and another 600 disappeared we don't know what happened to them perhaps they rushed to the sea from our country but I'm very happy that uh, when it happened the um, uh, ruler of Abu Dhabi, the uh, crown prince there, uh, Sheikh Mohammed, sent two plane loads of humanitarian assistance to Zimbabwe, which went a long way in helping our people uh, mitigate the impact of uh, uh, circular dying. So thereafter, the relations grew faster and faster and deepened. And now the UAE is the second largest trading partner of Zimbabwe. We are very happy. Of course, there's this uh, uh, historical relationship that has always been there between the African people in Africa and the Arab world. It has always been there. Africa and our region is a region, uh, uh, region where the prospects of growth and uh, of, de of development and investment are great. Uh, what we lack is not resources. What we lack is the technology. Uh, we lack skills. We lack uh, global uh, funding uh, for investment. And these things are found here.